Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today, we're hopping back onto the farm in Farming Simulator 19. This is episode two of Harm Nun's Farm. I'm excited. We're gonna get some work done today. I've done a little bit of research. I've learned a few things about the game. So we're gonna try to uh, employ those strategies today and uh, maybe uh, maybe get some money happening here. So let's hop over to the tractor and see what we can do. All right, so we're here at the tractor. We're gonna hop in here. All right. Now I've learned that you can hire workers in this, oh. Okay, well, we hit the truck, but you know what? That's that's probably fine. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and drive the tractor right over here to the field, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, we have uh, we have a, a way of uh, hiring a worker here that's gonna help us to actually plow this really quick. So we're gonna start going here. And I'm gonna press H, which means I'm gonna hire a worker. So he's gonna start plowing. Look at that, boys. We've done it. Now, he does cost money. As you can see in the top right, my money is starting to go down, but he's going to plow that whole field, and when he's done, I believe he's going to stop. Now, while he's doing that, I do believe it's time for us to get another tractor. And with the other tractor, I think we're gonna be able to start actually planting this field. So, we're hoping that our partner over there is gonna uh, keep going with this. I think he sort of looks like he is. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a beast. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh man. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 So while he's plowing, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go investigate the shop a little bit. Uh, I know that I can access the shop from right here, but actually, you know, that kind of makes more sense to just do it that way. We're gonna we're gonna just press P from here, and we're gonna see what we can buy here. So I think we're gonna want to get a medium-sized tractor here. So if we don't, I think we're probably gonna regret it a little bit. So we don't want to spend too much money here these are expensive man oh my goodness okay well the first one is the most powerful and it also has the biggest fuel tank we also only have 186,000 though so maybe oh i don't know we do need a planter that's for sure so oh man what can this thing plant it needs 100 horsepower this thing only needs 70 horsepower and it can hold more and it's four and a half meters wide so i feel like that's actually pretty good we'd need something to go and pick this up with though that's the only problem hmm. okay well i think i'm gonna bite the bullet i'm gonna buy this yeah that seems pretty pretty good buy that we'll go and get it after i guess okay so these are power arrows so i think we need to do this after we've plowed the fields what can we do here so it's a cult what does a cultivator do exactly Okay, a cultivator prepares the next sowing, so the next uh, the next seeding of the fields. I, to be honest, guys, I still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. The plow, you can prepare fields for the next sowing and create new fields. These are just for preparing for the next uh, sowing. Can you can you get one of these that does both though and create new fields? Maybe we ought to keep the one that I have. Man, some of these things take a lot of horsepower. That's crazy. Let's just check on how our uh, how our helpers doing here. Okay, the field's almost uh, field's almost done. Okay, that's that's not bad. Now, okay, the next question is how do I actually get seeds? I'm pretty sure I need a silo. Um, oh my god, these are <laughs> yikes. Okay, okay. Well, as soon as this guy's done, we're gonna go pick up our uh, newly acquired tool from the shop and then uh, and then we'll, we'll go from there, I guess. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna head over to the shop and uh, see what's up with our new sewing machine. So let's head over there. Oh my God. Okay, well, I've just crashed the truck, but that's, uh, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. All right, so this is our new sewing machine. I hope that uh, our current tractor can actually attach itself to that. I think it can probably. I wonder if my truck can attach to it. I kind of doubt it. Let's see, actually, though. Why not? No, it absolutely cannot attach to it. Okay, great. What is this here? Open vehicle options. Here you can customize or repair your vehicles. Okay, cool. Check finances. Okay, so we're down uh, $300,000. $342,000. So, you know, we're, we're, we're doing good. All right, well, we're going to head back to the farm. We're gonna see if our helper is in fact done uh, plowing our field there. And if he is, we're gonna bring the tractor over and we're gonna pick up our sewing machine there. And uh, we're gonna see if we can actually plant some crops. 
um, and we're gonna actually see how if we can you know how we do that so let's uh let's see what happens here oh yeah oh yeah he's got i think one more row to do here perfect uh maybe a little more than one row okay he's got a, okay okay great we are going to buy a new tractor i've decided because uh we, we're, we're gonna need one i that's the way i see it so we're gonna buy a new tractor let's get a medium sized tractor this time let's mm, let's customize this thing uh wheel brand trella tr oh mission oh whoa 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 is that better i'm assuming michelin tires are better we'll go michelin uh we could do wide tires we could do rear oh twin wide oh man you can go crazy with the horsepower on this thing huh i think 170 horsepower is good enough we'll just stick it with wide tires hundred thousand dollars guys Oof. okay well we we got to do it so let's 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 do that okay it's done all right let's attach this okay so far this tractor is uh, quite quick actually I've heard the corn is uh, one of the more profitable seeds. Um, however, I don't know what else growing corn really entails. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hold on for a second here till we uh, till we figure this out. So let's stop the tractor here. We're gonna turn it off. Let's hop out. It's looking it's a nice looking tractor, though, hey boys. I forgot to make the wheels black, but hey, we'll we'll do that eventually. Okay, now we need to check how we actually get big bags are used to refill your sewing machines. Pallet of saplings is used to fill the tree planter. Okay, cool. I guess this is just filled with like regular seeds. I guess we'll buy this. You can fetch your purchase at the store. I think we're gonna need a trailer. Let's, uh, how much horsepower? Can I tow this with like a regular truck? I feel like I can tow that with a regular truck. Let's get this one. Oh man. Oh, I can... Ooh. Yeah, we'll put a cover on it too. It's only 12,000. That's not that bad, I don't think. Okay, take this. Let's go hook up the truck to that. I think this thing can actually do it, so I'm hoping it can at least. Let's uh, let's go find out. All right, I see our beautiful trailer coming up here. Okay, and I see our pallet of, uh, of seeds there as well. Um, so we're going to have to see how this whole thing works. Back our truck up to this. I oh, I can attach it. Let's go. I fear that I've uh, maybe put too too big of uh, too big of tires on it. Oh, helper B has completed their task. Okay, that's that's good. I think I need a forklift. How do we get a forklift? Forklift. That looks like what we need. What about a zoom boom here? These are very expensive. Okay, I think I'm gonna buy a forklift. I guess. Okay, we currently have five thousand dollars left, guys. So this is uh, this is going fabulously here. Let's start the engine. And, uh, see if I can, uh, pick up this pallet that we have here. Look at that, guys. Look at me. Look at me go. Okay, now... Is that high enough? There we go. That's high enough. Okay. Uh... Things are going well here. It looks like I may just have to drive this back to the... Okay. Let's bring that down a bit. Not right to the ground, but almost. Okay, that, that looks very stable. I like the look of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then we'll, uh, we'll come back for the truck, I guess. And the trailer. Let's, uh... Oh, okay, well, we lost the seeds. All right, perfect. Drop that down to the ground. Oh, turn it off real quick. Okay, now let's, uh, man, okay. Attach that. Slam that down to the ground real quick. All right, now let's, uh, nope, that's not how we're going to do that. Aren't my reversing skills just impressive, guys? Man, this is, this is going well. Okay. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's modify. Yes, customize. Okay. We're gonna put the put the smaller tires on this thing. 
Okay, sweet. That's uh, that seems a little bit more manageable for the uh, for the old truck here. Okay, is it just me? Okay, it has definitely shrunk. Okay. All right, let's take this thing back to the uh, back to the farm here. Okay, actually, let's unattach that to you. Okay, so how does one fill the sewer? Man, I'm I'm lethal with the forklift, boys. You already know. All right, let's see. Can we somehow build the sewer? It's time to uh, time to see see uh, see if we can uh, see if we can do anything here. Hey Siri, how do you fill a sewer on Farming Simulator 19? I found this on the web. Here we go. All right, all right, guys. So I think I figured it out. We're gonna hop in here. We're gonna start this thing. We're gonna uh, we're gonna park right here beside uh, beside the seeds that I've got here, and there we have it. In the top right corner, refill sower. Let's do that. Okay, the sower is now full with sugar beet. Can we change that? Sh sugar beet, it is. All right, let's uh, head over here, and we're gonna sit right here. We're gonna start driving forward, and we are going to hire a worker. Which means we are going to hop out and we are going to seed the whole field let's go there we go boys we are officially farming let's go okay i'm gonna run over here i'm gonna grab the other tractor and i'm just gonna drive it and just park it um because it it, it doesn't it's it's not really doing anything right now now i'm wondering if the tractor when it's out of seeds if it's gonna come back just want to see what's up here. Oh, it's still a 91%. I think it can probably finish the entire field without uh, without reseeding. So that's great. We're going to just let this guy go. You know, guys, to be honest, I love our other tractor. Uh, I think we will eventually need it, but I'm almost thinking we should sell it right now. Let's, let's see. I'll go to the garage. How much? Okay, this seed is worth like nine grand if I sell it. The tractor's worth 50 if I sell it as well. So it's either I keep this thing and I go into debt and take out a loan or I sell this and the plow and then just get a bigger plow and let the one tractor deal with our whole farm for right now until I actually have enough fields to actually need two tractors. So I'm thinking right now, unfortunately, it's time to sell the old tractor. So we're gonna do that. And we're also gonna sell our old plow very sad day we, we we hate to see it to be honest that's 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 a sad sight to be honest oh hate to see it but with our new money i think we are actually going to be able to uh potentially potentially do some some cool things so now i think we actually need a harvester for when this is all done which uh is going to be fun because i'm pretty sure harvesters are extremely expensive let's actually see that Eighty-four thousand, huh or a hundred thousand we're gonna park the truck right here. It's almost nighttime, so that's uh, that's pretty great. Okay, what's up with the bank here? Okay, so I can borrow money. So I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna borrow like borrow two hundred thousand dollars. That is a lot of money, but we're gonna need it, I think. So. Uh... All right. Let's turn the lights off real quick. Ooh, the tractor's got the lights on. That's sick. And we're almost done feeding the field, I think. Uh, we, we're about halfway done exactly, I think. So we love to see that. That's great. Sugar beet. It's uh, it's growing. That's good. It's a 19% fertilized. I feel like we need to fertilize this a little bit, uh, a little bit more, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know how we're going to go about that. Well, I guess we'll cross that bridge uh, when we come to it. But for right now, I do know that we do need a harvester. What is beet technology? Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait a second, wait a second. I'm, I've planted sugar beets. Do I need a special harvester to harvest beets? The indicated fruit types. Oh my god. Do I need it? Oh no. Tell me I don't need a beet harvester. The three hundred seventy-five thousand. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently you can actually just get a beet harvester. I don't know how to do that though. So we're gonna have to figure that out really quick. Beet technology, here we are. 
Okay. Okay, this is a Holm topper. Uh, the sugar be before sugar beets can be harvested, the foliage needs to be cut with the Holm topper like this one. Is this also a Holm topper? Okay. I think he's, uh, he's getting ready to plant the last row of sugar beets right after this. So that's great. So we're about to have a full field of sugar beets, which is going to be fantastic. Hopefully those sell for a bit of money because we, uh, we definitely are going to need some money soon here. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Now for beet technology, let's see here. Where sugar beets can be harvested. So is that the only holm topper? Okay, so I guess these, so I guess we need both of these and to attach them to a harvester. So let's, oh boy, this is going well. Looks like we need to buy a Panther 2, guys, which is a cool $375,000. Which means it's time to make another trip to the bank. Wonderful, we love going to the bank and borrowing money. It's a great feeling. So let's go talk to the bank and uh, I guess we're gonna buy another harvester and also a, uh, a holm popper so I can top the beets before I harvest them. So this is going to be a, uh, I feel like this is going to be a very profitable venture uh, for sure because I mean we're, spe we're spending nearly you know half a million dollars just to be able to actually harvest these beets that I'm buying so that's gonna be pretty pretty grand. The bank probably loves me right now. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're down 200K. Well, I guess well, we're actually gonna be down more like, let's just let's just go 500K in debt. Why not? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Okay, sweet. All right, now let's hop in here again and we will drive back to the good old farm. And then we're gonna buy a harvester and also a, uh, a home topper as well. So this is This is very exciting stuff, guys. I don't know how many uh, I don't know how many beets we're actually going to be able to uh, yield from this harvest, so that's going to be interesting to find out actually. All right, now it's time to go into the purchasing section, and it's time I think to buy a beet harvester. Uh, I don't know what any of this means. What can we do to customize this thing? Oh my. This thing costs ten thousand three hundred and ninety-five dollars an hour to operate. That's 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 a lot. That is a lot of money. Okay, um, I do have to say I like the uh, I like the look of the panther. This thing seems like a beast. I guess I guess we'll buy the panther. Oh boy. All right, and while we're at it, let's uh, make sure we get the beat technology. I think I have to buy this, right? Great. Okay, let's head to the store here real quick. Unfold harvester. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna do that right now. Now let's see if this actually will attach to it. Moment of truth, here we go. It won't attach to it. Excellent. Alrighty. Let's turn that off for a second. Let's uh, go to the garage here. Let's uh, quickly sell the uh, good old op op FT300 thing. Okay, cool. Alright, let's, let's see here. Okay, this is for the Panther 2. Let's do this. What does this do? It's an extra thousand dollars. Let's just, hey, let's buy it. Okay, done. All right, now this should attach, right? Attach, there we go, look at that. Okay, so let's unfold this harvester and uh, like understand how this thing works. Wow, this is a complicated machine. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Well, I don't see how this is legal to drive down the street, but hey, I, I, Let's uh, oh say goodbye to that street sign. Okay, well yeah, don't mind me. Oh, and it has a pipe too that you can. Oh, that's for, for unloading. Okay, that's dope. Okay, well I mean it should be pretty straightforward to use I think uh, once once it's actually time to use it. So let's turn this thing off as soon as humanly possible because it's uh, it's an expensive boy I think. Fold it up too while we're at it. Okay. All right guys well that seems like a good place to end this episode. I've just gone $500,000 in debt. We've got a new harvester for when these beets are actually ready to be harvested. Things are going kind of well I guess. So anyway guys if you enjoyed this episode leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Let me know how you think things are going to turn out on the farm. Thank you so much for watching. 
I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.